Hey guys. Hey guys, Mr. Burns here. And uh, I'm going to bring you an example of a tension problem. Um, this is just your stereotypical example that we've done a million of them. Um, but again, I'll show you this one, hopefully, um, last time's charm. So what we have going on here is we have a mass 2 kilograms sitting on a table and a pulley, and then a mass of 4 kilograms here on the, on the string, and uh, a mu, a coefficient of static friction of 0 decimal 2, 7 acting on this thing. Okay, so um, what first thing we might want to do is find uh, the force of gravity and the frictional force acting on this thing. So if we remember, frictional force is equal to mu times the normal force. Okay, so the normal force is just the force that acts in the opposite direction of whatever force is acting down. So in this case, all we have is, is gravity acting down. Sometimes it might be something else with gravity, but in this case, all we have is gravity. So my frictional force is going to be 0 0.27 times, one second, guys. My pesky little kitty cat was up to something uh, no good as per usual. Alrighty, so uh, let me get my train of thought back here. Um, 0 decimal 27 is my co uh, coefficient of friction. And Boston just scored. It's one nothing Boston. Anyway, zero decimal two seven, and then I got normal force is equal to mass times gravity, so two decimal zero times gravity of nine point eight. So we can find that frictional force. Let's see, got a lot of windows open here today. So we got zero decimal two seven times two times 9.8 so we have a frictional force of 5.29 newtons so 5.29 newtons so I guess I should state the overall goal here is to find the acceleration and the tension in the string okay so we're trying to find acceleration then tension in the string all right so that's my frictional force so that frictional force is acting this way now um, the only other force that we have that affects the motion, right, tension and strain does not affect the motion, is the force of gravity. So the force of gravity acting on this thing, called Fg, is equal to, and Boston just scored again, it's 2 nothing Boston. The force of gravity acting on this thing is mass, 4 decimal 0, times gravity, which is 9.8, okay, so that's going to give me, uh, let's see, 4 times 9, oops, 4 times 9.8, and that's equal to 39.2 newtons, 39.2 newtons, and so um, that's my force acting on this mass acting down. So these, this frictional force here and this um, force of gravity compose the net force of the system, okay? So the net force of the system. So my F net is equal to, for the system, okay, that's the key to the system. Uh, it's 39.2 newtons, subtract 5.29 newtons. Okay, so I'll break up my webinar email again. 39.2, subtract 5.29. And that's equal to 33.9. So 33.9 newtons. Now, of course, we also know what F net is equal to. F net is equal to mass times acceleration. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for acceleration. So the F net of the system is equal to 39.9. Now, the mass of the system is 4 plus 2. So the mass of my two masses is 6. So it's 6 decimal 0. And my acceleration is... Uh, well, that's what we're going to find. So my acceleration is going to be um, 33.9 divided by 6. So 33.9 divided by 6. And that's equal to 5.65 meters per second squared. 5.65 meters per second squared. Okay, so that's the acceleration of the system. Now, if we were given the situation... We, if we had this acceleration, we can work backwards to one of these things. Okay, so always keep that in mind. 
um, acceleration represents that there is a net force and that we can fi somehow find um, uh, find you know whether it be the force of gravity frictional force masses whatever that might be um, alrighty so now we want to find the tension in the spring so tension in the spring you choose one of your masses okay so uh, generally we normally would choose this one just because that's what we used to go with it doesn't matter okay so I'm gonna choose that four kilogram mass and I'm gonna draw a free body diagram for it Let me extend my page a little bit here so that's four kilograms I got some tension force here acting this way and some force of gravity acting this way so we know that it's moving this way it has some acceleration that way okay remember the acceleration is the same for both masses so it's traveling this way so that's my acceleration so what we know here is that the F net on this mass itself remember F net is not the same anymore F net up here is the F net of the system F net over here is the F net of this individual mass well the F net of this thing is just equal to the force of gravity subtract the tension okay I put the force of gravity here first because I know that the force of gravity is greater than the tension why because it's moving this way if I had chose this mass I would put tension first because tension is greater than frictional force because it's moving this way okay so that just avoids negatives all right um, now my F net we don't know what that is but we can find it my F net again is still equal to mass times acceleration uh, my force of gravity it's just mass times gravity and my tension is T so my mass times acceleration so my mass is 4 my acceleration is 5.65 my force of gravity is mass times gravity so I know there's a tendency sometimes to put in uh, just the just 9.8 okay but I want you guys to recognize that you got to put force of gravity so this thing's got to be in Newton's all right so now basically I'm just gonna do the do the math on this thing so I'm gonna I'm going to uh, take this across the other side and subtract it so tension so let's see I'm gonna have 4.65 Sorry, four times nine point eight subtract four times five point six five, and that's equal to sixteen point six newtons. Sixteen point six newtons. I haven't taught much about sig figs in my physics video. I kind of forget those time time, but you look at this, two sig figs would get it done. So answer would be presented in 17 newtons okay so don't forget about sig figs on your final very important so um, tension is equal to 17 newtons all right guys I really hope that clears up this specific example um, I know there's another type uh, I keep forgetting what the name of it but it looks like um, this kind of thing we have two different masses here and you got uh, it's going one way, so it might be going this way. And you got to calculate the tension in the sink spring. Done very much the same way. Okay. If you got any questions about this, see me. See me uh, before your exam. All right, guys. Thank you very much. I hope you like this video.